Yo, what's going good, YouTube? Welcome back to a new video, and thank you guys for watching today. I'm just getting ready to smoke or get stoned, and I'm already kind of stoned, but as you can tell, I'm getting ready to pack a bowl. So, cheers, man. Let me know in the comments below where you're smoking from or where you're dabbing from. Because <sighs> I'm thinking about, you know, I'm thinking about buying another hemper box, honestly. And today I wanted to talk about spending, spending money, to be honest, man. Because not a lot of people like to talk about this. That's just the reason that I'm making this video. Is because I had that thought. I had the thought of making a video like this. And how a lot of people would respond. And that's just it man. When you talk about spending. When you talk about money. And how people respond. There's not really a good correlation. Or a basic correlation that we know of. So if we think about. For example for instance. I don't know man. Just any, any kind of instance where you're talking about money. It's just kind of a um, no-brainer that you don't ask people how much money they have or something like this. So I hope you're smoking with me or getting stoned. Stay high. Cheers. And I mean, it's not like it's illegal for people to ask how much money you have. It's honestly, <coughs> it's the opposite of that if you think about it. <coughs> it's the opposite because if you think about how people can say they're just rich or just say, I want to be rich even, even though I'm not. There's a lot of people out there who do that or who claim, like I just said, to be rich, and they're not. But that's called being a fraud, man. That's just being a fraud. And there's a lot of people out there, like I just said, who do that and get away with it. And we live in a society today where even if you get away with that kind of thing, you're not considered a criminal. You're not considered somebody who should be in a separate group of people from the rest of us, you know what I'm saying? That's just kind of the weird thing about how the way life works is that there are people who can get away with crimes and there are some people who are indicted for crimes that they literally, it's not even a crime, you know? It's not, a, the definition of what they did doesn't even fit for the punishment, you know what I'm saying? So that's here what I'm talking about today and that's kind of lately what's been happening in the news cycle if you've fallen any of that crap. It's just kind of weird, man, the way the way our um, lives or our media blows our lives out of proportion. You know what I'm saying? So cheers, guys. Stay stoned. Stay high. And cheers. That's what's up. Some people may argue, some people may say, you know, that's just the way things are, is to be um, a downer, to be to downplay things. That's just a strategy. That's just a way to strategize or to make people um, persuade them to kind of what you believe in. And that's just, that's a little bit of a background history, man, for how people work, how politics works in, in our society, is that it's all about giving the other opponent a low blow and seeing um, you know basically how the referee responds it's just basically a cheap shot <sighs> and the referee is you and I man that's just what I'm talking about is that it's really hard to distinguish what I'm talking about um, or what we what we claim to know as right and wrong and that's what a lot of people say like I just said they claim to think they know what is right and wrong and when it comes down to it not everyone agrees with them or with with you or I so that's just the harsh reality of things is that not everybody or not anybody when it comes down to it will agree with each other can agree with each other but that's just what I'm saying guys is that if we're talking about a specific subject 
there should be no reason why we can't agree or you know just get along and have a common ground on an issue you know what I'm saying so cheers I guess it really it doesn't matter what your philosophy in life or of life is because no matter what way you view things guys it's always gonna come around to bite you in the ass anyway so there's there's no worry there's no purpose or sense a reason I guess in my mind that anybody would want to say um, let's save my money f for a Bentley you know what I'm saying a Bentley Arnage so cheers guys stay stoned Now, if you have the money to get a Bentley, by all means, man, that's not that's not at all what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say that for the people out there who can't afford a Bentley, they should they should at least have that ability to work there, to work to get that money and you know, in five years or so have a Bentley in their driveway. And that's all I'm saying. Is that it's a luxury car for a reason and you gotta work to get that. So, you know, there's no way people are just going to be handing out Bentleys like they're fucking a $5,000 car as opposed to, you know, what it actually is. That's all I'm saying is people try to misconstrue things. People try to shake things up and they try to make people feel like what they're thinking is wrong. And <clears throat> at the same time, you know, other people don't know what they're saying so that's that's all I'm talking about today is that it doesn't matter which way you view things as long as you view things from a standard standpoint of view you know it's just it doesn't have to be extreme it doesn't have to be crazy but it can be man so don't sweat it don't sweat yourself cheers Because for years, man, I've just heard this generation, this generation in America doesn't know any culture and they don't have any sense of mind or sense of reason. And that's just all I've heard is negativity from, you know, um, from the internet. And like I said, I made a video a few days ago entitled Growing Up on the Internet. That's what it all is about, guys, is that... It's not from any left or any right political spectrum standpoint of view. No. Um, I'll explain after I smoke a bowl, so cheers. try to make it sound like you know that's really what it depends on or that's what it they make it seem like it is all that matters but the reality of the situation is behind all of that behind that mask that people try to hide behind is all I'm saying is that ultimately there are ideas that are compatible and that's why ultimately you don't see people talking like like they used to, I guess you could say. Because a lot of the people that I, like I just said, I hung, hang out with, used to hang out with, I don't anymore. And I'll just, I'll never see those people. Probably not like I'll ever, never see those people again. But what I'm saying is, is that there is a lot of folks who I used to hang with that are going through different times in their life. And that's, that's okay. Because... 
you know, man, everybody has to experience life for themselves at one time or point in their lives where they just say, fuck it, man, I'm going to do things right, I'm going to do it how I want to, and there's no problem in that, that's all I'm saying is that many people have chosen that path, so if that's what you're going through, if that's the path you're going down, kudos to you, man. I have no problem, man. I'd just like to say cheers. I hope you're smoking with me. Stay high. Stay stoned. Anyway, guys, I don't like to tell you how to spend your money, but don't spend your last, like, if you have $75, don't spend your last $70 on something for somebody else. That's all I got to say. Peace out. Cheers. Stay stoned. Stay high.